welcome to our show. Today we are interviewing Zora Hurston. Tell us a little about yourself. Oh, well, I was born in Alabama, a very small town. I have six brothers and one sister. I don't remember much from Alabama because when I was little, my family moved to a town called Eatonville, Florida. And in 1904, when I was 13, my uh, mother passed away. So it was interesting, I guess, to say the least. After your mother died, your father got a new girlfriend. How did you feel about her? Didn't like her at all. Uh, one day we got, we were arguing and we got into a fist spot. And I hit her so hard I could have killed her. So. so, I have heard you were charged with molesting a 10-year-old boy. Is that true? I was charged, but it didn't happen. I was actually out of the country um, with school. So, I suffered, like, pretty bad from that. Um, my school administration was very hard on me about that. But, it, no, it didn't happen. I also heard that you didn't finish high school on time. What happened? I didn't. Um, I, I dropped out and worked a few menial jobs. And then when I was 26, I actually went back to finish. And when I went back, I made everyone believe that I was 16. And after I graduated from then on, every, I made everyone believe that I was 10 years younger. Okay. What did you do after you graduated high school? Um, I started writing a little bit. and. Um, well, I wrote a lot, and I published my first book, um, in 1928, I believe. Speaking of writing, where did you get your inspiration for your famous book, Their Eyes Were Watching God? Um, I got it from mainly my childhood and, um, like stuff that happened when I was in Florida with my stepmom and all that stuff. Where did your characters come from? Uh, my male characters came from my father because he was such a strong inspiration. And um, my darker antagonist characters uh, came were pretty much modeled after my stepmother. Okay, you were considered one of the preeminent writers of the 20th century. How did all your success begin? Uh, I started with a writing competition, um, I think right after high school. And I won second place for my short stories. Um, one of them was, um, a short story was Spunk, and then I won second place for my play that I wrote called Color Struck. And it just, my career took off from there. Well, that's all we have for you today. Thank you for joining us, Ms. Thank Hurston. you for having me.